Welcome to another English language teacher quiz show brought to you by the American TESOL Institute. Greetings, everyone, broadcasting live from Paris, France. It's Fluency MC back with you for another edition. That's right, the English language teachers quiz show. We have English language teachers from all around the world with us. What I'd like to do to start us off. First of all, is to thank American Teacher Institute for uh, sponsoring the English Language Teacher Quiz Show. I'm so happy to be a host once a month for this quiz show. And looking around here, I see we have some wonderful people uh, from different countries here to play the game. So uh, to my left, I have my man, Story Paul. Story Paul, can you start us off? Tell us who you are, where you are, what you do. All right, yeah, thanks, Jace. Thanks. Nice to be here with you all. Uh, I'm Story Paul. I'm uh, living in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and uh, I teach English mostly online, but I also teach some, some local workshops, uh, mostly business English. And my focus is on storytelling. There's the Story Paul name there. There it is. And I'm uh, mostly working um, with helping people who have to make presentations, who have to communicate important ideas. And also uh, candidates for job interviews. Uh, I've been working a lot with people in the technology industry recently and helping them to uh, speak a little bit more natural, not be so technical about how they speak. You know, to kind of sound human. You know, like that thing, like, you know, prove that you're human. That's kind of like what Hugely I'm... Hugely important. Sure what's, what's more important than that? I mean, yeah, I mean, line. <laughs> exactly. more important than that. So... Um, been working a lot. I, I, I used to make videos and I used to make some fun videos. I haven't made those, but I might be coming back with a uh, podcast or with a Paul cast soon. So Ooh. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Yeah, very cool. cool. I hope so. You are a master storyteller. I mean, it's, it, you know, somebody who takes the name Story Paul, you, you, you got to have your stories, you know, on lock and you got them on lock. Daniel, tell us what, who you are. Where are you? What's, what's up, man? Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Gwim. I am based in Santiago, Chile. And so now I am teaching online. Oh, is someone else in? Yeah, Claudia. Oh, you guys were together last time? Oh, maybe you were in two, oh, maybe you weren't there anyway. Uh huh, there we go, yeah. So in any case. Chile, Chile in the house. Yeah, so I have a few different projects. So I was a part of the ELT and Chile podcast, which lasted about two years. And we provided a lot of resources and just free information about our knowledge and experiences, free resources to help teachers. Originally, it was going to be for teachers in Chile teaching in person. The pandemic happened. So then it shifted to teaching online and a lot of things that apply to people all over the world. Mm. So now what I'm doing is I'm teaching online. So mostly TOEFL preparation, I'm kind of niching down to that. And then the other thing I'm doing is I'm running professional development workshops to help teachers go ahead. How do I teach pronunciation in a practical, engaging way online? How do I teach grammar online? Another thing I've been teaching completely freelance since 2015, and I am running a workshop series to help teachers take those first steps to become their own bosses and go freelance. Nice. Wow. Very cool. A lot Thank going you. on, Daniel. Very cool. Chris, Chris, what? oh, wow. This is amazing. I have never, Chris, we've never actually met face-to-face, uh, -face, virtually. Oh, uh, so I, I'm really, I, I'm so happy you're here. So t tell yeah, us who nice you are. You Introduce guys. yourself, my friend. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Chris Walklet. Um I actually lecture history, but I've been in ELT for about 25 years. And my thing is, as a few people might know, um, how to use songs in the classroom. Here comes a shameless plug. Just what I, what I bought. Hey. Jack, top 10, yes, yes. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that, that's what I do, really. Um, and also, I've just started, um, obviously, things were a bit dry for, for book sales uh, during mm -hmm. COVID. So I uh, started doing a uh, teacher training course called Training Tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. that's, that's um, things like that, really. I mean, look, if you know what I do, you know this guy and me, like, we have our stars aligned, like, years ago i mean especially chris like we haven't again we've, we've chatted we've never actually spoken to one another <laughs> that's what's amazing yeah. about like the internet though it's like it's like it was gonna happen and here we are uh so chris, yeah, i can't uh, remember i can't remember the first time we we talked but it was quite a while ago wasn't it 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, a long time ago, but also like we both grew up like me in the States, you know, but with punk music, you know, hip hop, new wave. So like when I joined your group and I was like, oh my God, this guy, he, not only is he doing stuff with, with music the way I am, uh, but he's he's from that time, you know, that generation. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but but in the UK and here I am in the States, like looking at the UK and like, wow, all this great music. So it's it's fantastic, man. Really. Yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, Gustavo. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, believe it or not, I'm hey. in Buenos Aires, Paul, too. Here, I'm in, based here in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. And I'm very happy to see some familiar faces and to read some familiar names as well. Well, I teach English here, and I'm a kind of a combo because I, I use a lot of music, as Chris does, and, and songs. Uh, this is my thing. Uh, I have been doing a lot of neuroscience uh, in education as well. And of course, incorporating new technology, uh, new technologies, incorporating digital technologies uh, to education to have to enhance learning. And uh, what I've been doing, I mean, for many years, I've been teaching on, I mean, face to face and for the last two years online, uh, since the pandemic hit, I've been running webinars. I am a freelancer uh, and a freelance trainer for Oxford University Press. And I'm a teacher trainer for the Oxford Teachers Academy. And, uh, and I'm, that's, that's really something that I love doing. And uh, this question of interacting globally with colleagues, it's one thing that I really love doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm and, really enjoying the, the opportunity to be here. Talk about like somebody who's passionate, whose passion for teaching uh, also extends to like sharing and, and getting out there, just like lighting, lighting up social media you know with 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 your posts man i mean you well, thanks. Always, yeah oh no, no i mean i'm sure other people who follow you will will agree man you bring sunshine to 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 elt well that's 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 something i love <laughs> and it's sharing my passion for teaching and music and and, and everything yeah you do it you do it my man ron moraine what's up man Hello, Jason. Thanks for inviting me. I'm coming to you today from beautiful, sunny Germany, <laughs> where I live. Uh, and uh, yeah, what can I say about myself? I guess everybody knows me on social media uh, for posting a lot of things about teaching, learning, uh, graphic facilitation. Uh, I'm a teacher trainer. I've been a teacher trainer for about 25 years. Uh, but I also have a real job at a university. <laughs> teacher training is just something I do just for sort of fun. Uh, and um, yeah, well, I work in the personnel department for a large German university, been working there for over 17 years, uh, and I'm responsible for the uh, planning, uh, implementation, uh, and assessment of uh, the EMI program, working with professors, uh, teachers, um, mm -hmm. teacher, future teachers, uh, in the uh, direction of online learning. Uh, and also, you know, uh, teaching uh, in English uh, in online learning context. Uh, and I'm a speaker at, at conferences all over the world. Uh, but with Corona, of course, I've been stuck here in Germany. Uh, and I will be doing my first face-to-face -face, um, uh, conference in Belgium at the Belta Conference. Oh, excellent. Belta is a great organization. That. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've been in America for a long time and look forward to finally getting out of Germany Going back to conferences, yeah, uh, I, I look forward to that. I'm sure it'll feel good. I'm sure it'll feel good. And and don't forget, uh, w webinars for English language teachers is an amazing Facebook group. There are not so many Facebook groups where you can actually count on, you know, quality content, timely information. If you're not a mm -hmm. member, uh, that's... that's I, lo I have loved doing that. We started, when I started, we had about 3,000 members and we're close to 30,000 now. Teachers all wow. over the world. Yeah. It's Amazing. Still, and, it's, and again, it's still growing. <clears throat> it's growing and it's it's just a source of, of valuable information. Samara, hello. How are you? Welcome back. Hi. This is not your first time. We have some people. So so who's Daniel is a veteran. Daniel, you've been here for uh, uh, the, the game show. Uh, Ron, you've been here also, Ron, a couple of times. Samara also. So welcome back to all the veterans. Samara, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so my name is Samara. Here with 
we have different pronunciation, but um, I teach online. I've been teaching for f six years only. Mm. I don't have much experience because I'm only 22 years old. Um, I teach online and also face to face. Uh, currently, I have a page on Facebook where I teach for free. It's named Fluent Now. Mm. And Fluent Now, Fluent Now, cool name. Fluent Now, check it out. Yes. And I also teach Portuguese. Now I have started teaching Portuguese. Um, and I live in Brazil. I was born in Brazil and still live in Brazil. Um, I'm undergraduated in ELT, and I'm also interested about special education. Uh, last year, mm. I had the opportunity to join an online event hosted by the British Council uh, about how to use um, technology to teach special students. And yeah, that's it. So you, so you were inspired by this. I think you are already were inspired to teach this way. So this just made you more inspired. Yeah. So that you're, you're doing great things. Uh, you say you don't have that much experience, but hey, you're, you're getting started. Imagine yes. what you'll do five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. Wonderful. Samara, thank you for joining us. Nani, we haven't met. Indonesia in the house. Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Teacher Nani from Indonesia. It's a bit late here, but it is a good idea when I saw the photo Claudia shared uh, on Facebook, then I love to join. What exactly all teachers in this group doing? I've been uh, a bit curious, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but Jason says about kind of game. I don't know. I can think well. Don't worry. This it, is, it, it, this it, is it, sleeping it. time. This is sleeping time here. No, no. So again, shout out to Tim and Nani. Nani, what time is it in Indonesia? Twelve ten. Uh, Twelve thirty. Really, thank you so Famous much. Thailand. We need to make sure this is fun, and we need to keep things moving uh, so that we can <laughs> make sure these people can get a full night's uh, of sleep. Tim, tell us who you are. What do you do in ELT? Yeah. And, and nice to hey, meet you. Buddy. This is another guy who I've been following, um, but I haven't actually met uh, this way. So, Tim, happy to meet you. Finally. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I'm yeah, happy to meet you and happy to meet everyone. Thanks for uh, having me on. So I'm kind of a yeah. world traveler. I, I was born in Bermuda, uh, grew up there, started teaching like public school in Canada. So I have a classroom teaching background and then went overseas to uh, China for a year and I've been in Asia for 11 almost now. So it's wow. sort of in my blood now. I've been living in Malaysia for most of the time. And then last year with pandemic and visa stuff, I had to leave and, and now I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I got started with ESL teaching with some of the big companies in China. I was kind of looking for a different route, getting a little bit burnt out with classroom teaching. And uh, so found, uh, yeah, found ESL teaching through, through that. And then with everything that happened last year with the big crash in the tutoring industry, um, I sort of pivoted, uh, started my own teaching business. Mm -hmm. And my stick wow. right now is really just helping teachers to do the same thing. So to launch their own, um, their own thing with their students. So yeah, I have a YouTube channel as well, uh, Online Teacher Dude. So I uh, kind of show up there a lot, do live shows and create content about teaching. Yeah, so my, my audience is mainly... Uh, so yeah that's me happy to be here very cool claudia you need to go are you you are <laughs> yeah bye claudia so, so, so claudia she's teaching she can't talk she was here before we'll invite you back for another session rob what's going on hey brother, brother from another mother rob howard how are you well i'm here in poland uh, by way of Brazil and from the United States originally, and oh. I've been teaching um, face to face years mm -hmm. ago, now strictly online for almost 20 years. 
and I teach all over the world, mostly executives, IT lawyers, people with money, and <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> well, that's it. If you're yes. going to teach, you may as well make money at it. So yes, yes. <laughs> and, I did uh, that one. <laughs> yeah. And some people here. Um, it's good to see from EFL Talks that I started. EFL Talks. Ago. EFL Talks. EFL Talks. Yeah. And that's also, um, the independent authors and publishers will have our booth at I at Defle. Chris, I hope I see you there. And um, that's pretty much it. Very good, yeah. So Rob, Rob Howard, if you don't know EFL Talks, this man has been doing some incredible things to unite uh, teachers who publish things and want to get their word out on what they're doing. So contact Rob. What's the best way to contact you, Rob? Email or social media? Um, or yeah, either email or you can get me um, – through, I'm on Facebook. I'm on everything. Okay. I'll, I mean, anyway, I'll put my email in the chat, in the but it's more for people watching. Right. Rob Howard, Google him, and, and that's about it. Oba! Yo. My partner. My partner. Yeah, my mom. Is, you know, my this mom. is my partner here. So, Oba, introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name Hello. is Oba Ikeri, and uh, I am a teacher of English. Uh, uh, from Benin, Benin Republic, it's a, country, a country in West Africa. Shout out to Benin, Benin. Yeah, I have been teaching English for the past uh, uh, 10 years. Mostly, I work, I teach primary school students. I, I am also a teacher's trainer. I write, I write songs and also create gestures. Cool. cool. My songs. So it's a pleasure to be here. Wonderful. Yeah, Oba and I Oba uh, and I both write songs to, to help students practice English. Uh, he focuses especially on very young learners and with a lot with uh, TPR and gestures. So we immediately like connected uh, because my wife's from Benin. So we met in Benin. I was doing work in Benin because for me, what's what's lacking in what I do is focusing on the, the youngest, youngest learners and the, the gestures, the TPR, which is just amazing what, what he does. He trains a lot of teachers and we have a lot of stuff coming out soon. Speaking of collaborators, partners, Madeline is another partner. Madeline uh, Bosberger, uh, she, if you don't know who she is, uh, she is uh, my, my manager for the shows that I do in France. She, she helps me connect with all the schools in France, Belgium, Switzerland, uh, and other countries too. Madeline, welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> so basically, you already introduced Oh, me. I already, I'm sorry, I stole your thunder. <laughs> <me. laughs> oh, no, 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 it's, it's <laughs> more convenient. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> <know. laughs> but who are you and what are you interested in and what's happening? Ah. Let's, let's focus on that, not the business side, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Madeline, so I'm a teacher. I collaborate with Jason, and so we uh, we work together. We've been working together now for six years. That's it. So it's uh, wow, been a pleasure <laughs> since then. A great pleasure for me. And so, um, yeah, I uh, I also work in a in a school this year, and also in a um, uh, higher education too, uh, like business schools and university, mm -hmm. and also teach uh, online. <clears throat> uh, mainly business business English and I also uh, organize the, the shows and try to develop this association that we run together to bring mm. pleasure in uh, in learning and have fun and uh, that's it that's our uh, yeah motto. Oh, great. yeah the name of the Thank association you. is Oremis plaisir d'apprendre so if you have plaisir d'apprendre pleasure pleasure to learn pleasure exactly very good okay so without further ado we're going to break into uh teams some of you i think already use bamboozle in your classrooms it's fantastic i use it all the time and there's just amazing things you can do with it we are going to today play a geography game Team one, that's Paul, Ron, and Nani. You're going to choose an emoji and let's go. Paul. Uh, okay, go, Ron. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go, Team One. What do you want? The dinosaur. You guys like the dinosaur? Is it Brontosaurus time, guys? Team One. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. which is the smallest country in Asia by population? Is it Qatar, Maldives, Bhutan, or Brunei? Brunei. Team One, you need to discuss and come to a final. Okay. Answer. Oh. Oh, we had to discuss it. Okay. Well, well time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, I already answered Brunei. You All think right. so? Okay. Oh, Let's see. you have well, another I, chance. I thought it was the Maldives. Um, I don't know, what do you think, Nani? It sounds, I agree with, with Ron. I think it might be Maldives, Nani. It All is right. for 15. And Yay! Team 1 now has 15 points. All right. Team two, let's go. All right. So let's see. Samara has good luck with choosing them. So I'm going to describe them. We have a squirrel. We have an eagle. We have um, a spider. We have a mouse, an octopus. That's good. You can describe a little bit each time. Samara, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Which so one? Samara, which do you think? Uh, I don't know. Say them again, Daniel. Okay, we've got um, a squirrel, we have a bald eagle, we have an octopus, a mouse, a spider. That's good. What do you want, Samara? Um, spider. Spider! Which country is Africa's most popular tourist destination? Oh my gosh. It is not multiple choice. Oh, it's not. Know. Let's see here. Um, Opa, do you have any ideas? I'm thinking maybe Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cape Town. So uh, Oba, Oba is Oba, in Oba, what do you say? He's Kenya. Cape Kenya. Kenya. I think he's Kenya. Kenya? Okay. Let's let's go with Opa's answer. Kenya. Ooh, Kenya. maybe in oh, sub-Saharan Africa. That makes sense. Egypt. Oh. No. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Team okay, three. that makes sense. Team three, let's go. Chris, Madeline, and Tim. Uh, what do you guys want? Anything. Come on. <laughs> let's, go the, let's go with the, uh, how's the, it has the eagle. Eagle, bald eagle. Win 25! Yay! Eagle. Yay! Oh, no. Wow, good Too choice. easy. Okay. That was supposed to be for right. us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the problem last time, if I if I'm remembering, was a was there was a farm animal problem. Cows. No yeah. cows on there. Thank yeah, God. But, but, okay. But, <laughs> all right, team four. It's this is us, Rob. So, so this friend. is Gustavo and Rob. This is the only team with two people. Let's go. Dynamic oh. duo. Come on. Do it. Okay. So let's um, Let's go with the dice. It's the die. Yeah. Um, it's dicey Which to is me. the newest country in Africa? Newest? <gasps> IMG. No multiple choice. No, I have no idea, Rob. Do you? Nick, I'm bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> this is not um, necessarily a mathematics question, Rob. Let's see. <laughs> newest, idea, I'll say uh, Namibia. Like it is Namibia, Namibia. South, South Sudan. Sudan. Yeah. Oh, no. South Sudan. Team one. All right. Come now on, you want to choose an animal? No, you, you, you go. Uh, yeah, why don't we do a squirrel? Yeah, the squirrel. I like squirrels. Squirrel. Okay. Great. Which is the third most populated country in the world? Is it Nigeria, Brazil, India, or the United States? What did they wrong? Okay. India? Oh, no. US. India's in the, one of the most populated. I would say it's the United States. Just a second. U.S. Team one, I need a final answer. United States? United States. Okay. Correct for 15 points. Boy. Wow. Well done, most team popular. one. Team two. Okay. So, Samara, uh, we have some food items. We have a birthday cake. We have a taco, we have a kiwi, and we have a lemon. <laughs> I, I love da Daniel's technique of arranging. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. According, according to the <laughs> we got categories. Food. Yeah. It's awesome with the technique. So birthday cake, taco, uh, lemon, and lollipop. Wow. Um, taco. Taco time. All right. Good choice. 
Where the hell is the taco? I don't even yeah. know. The top oh, three, right? Top right. Yeah. Other team loses 25. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's see. So um, I see the team number one is in first place. Mm. But maybe. So how does everyone feel about team don't number one losing 25 but, points? Maybe. <laughs> but don't, don't totally eliminate the idea of having team four have yes. negative 25. That's an well, idea. no, but Gustavo's on that team, and he's really cool, so. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, what about uh, me? <laughs> okay, Team 2. Well, I don't know you as well, so. So, right. Team Just 1. Remember, we lose remember Kyle. Team 1 it? now with five points. Uh, team 3, let's go. I don't question it. Who wants it? There's Sorry, it's one. just a game. Chris, Madeline, Tim, let's go. <laughs> You can what choose, you and I can answer. Cause... Go, Madeline. What do you want? <laughs> I prefer to answer. I prefer the others to choose. Oh, you don't want to choose the emoji. You prefer to answer the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Chris, Tim, what's up? What's up? Chris, trophy? Smiley, well, I was going to say smiley face, but I don't mind. Okay. Smiley, smiley face. trophy. Smiley trophy. Smiley. Smiley. Reset all scores. Oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Thank you. That's it. Uh, what is okay. how is that a power That's up? A easy way. That me. is good. Okay, That's team it. four. We're going with your one. Okay. Your core, Rob. Uh the electric guitar. Electric good. guitar. Give points to team two. How many points? Oh, we don't deserve any points. <laughs> by the way, well, by hey, the way, look at that. Team by four, way, we did it. not take any points away from you. Yeah. So, so people who've played the game before, just a moment. These are new power-ups. This is a new thing. Uh, they just put it in. I love it. You get to decide how many points yeah, that's team an option. two will get. See how so, generous you really are. Gustavo, Gen how are we doing? Possibly alliances. If you want to be I, strategic, you might want to consider something here. So two and four, the even numbers for the cool kids? I don't know. I like it. We Gustavo, give them 25. How many? I am, I am, I am a, I'm a generous guy, so I would go to 25 as well, yeah. 25! Yep. And there we go. Is that, that's that, sacrifice, man. You guys are minus 20. Team two, do not forget this. So not they had to is. give 25 of their points to another team. But you know what? This could not be a good thinking. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were just giving 25 points for no. free. Oh, no. It's not just Okay, generosity. we'll do what we can to help you out. It's sacrifice. Please. It's Please. Let's go, Paul. Ron, Nani, let's go. Oh, all right. Uh, de de go ahead, Ron. De de detective. Detective is good. Okay, yeah. go. You know, this go. one's funny because some people say detective, spy, Gangster, mm -hmm. so Batman. it's almost like a psychological test to see what mm -hmm. he has. Okay. So, is gonna say guy. pedophile. <laughs> 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 All right, then, um, then there are extremes India? off the meter. How many? Thanks to uh, Rob Howard. India? I'm gonna go with, with so, three. What do you, how yeah. many guys, how many time zones, guys? Ron, Nani, one, one, say three. one only. Okay, one? you seem to know, so I go with one. All right, is it one? one. It's One. two! Oh, no! Oh. Team two, let's go. <laughs> okay, so, Samana, we have um, we have an, an island, we have um, a tent to go camping, yeah, and we yeah. have a circus tent. Circus tent! Mm. Do you want to so. choose now? <laughs> you can choose now. I'm sorry, can you, you say that again? Try to answer. You choose, and I try to answer. Oh, I choose. Okay. Let's go for the circus tent. She's tired of choosing the stupid emojis. She wants to answer. Okay. All right, you, you All right let's go for the circus tent. Circus tent. How many time zones? Oh, does Russia have? But this oh, is I know. Oh, my Seven. gosh. Seven. Oh, Nine. my God. Eleven. Russia. Four. Thirteen. You didn't hear. I let's didn't see. hear. Sorry, Samara. How many time zones does Russia have? Is it seven time zones? Nine, 11, or 13? Doesn't it depend how many countries they steal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're right. Okay, so, so by the way, I created this game before you know what. I think it's seven. I don't know. Okay. Samara, so, Samara, you think seven? Do you agree, Oba? 
Let's go, team two. Uh, yes, I, uh, I agree with that. Seven. Seven. No. You have another chance for 15. Oh. oh. Should we say nine? Okay, nine. <laughs> okay. No. You have another chance now for 10 points. Oh, my goodness. 11. <laughs> Oh, yes. Correct for 10 points. All right, there we go. We got something. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Chris. Wow, team Tim, two. Madeline. We haven't actually had a question yet, have we? we I know. <laughs> so then we got wiped out. <laughs> Too many power ups. Okay, <clears throat> the normal question. I'm Hello? Sorry. Can you the violin? I don't know. Which one? The violin? Violin. 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 Right, violin. Let's do the violin. Win 50! Oh, oh, my goodness! Oh, uh, T3, you guys you, are... That one was you, supposed to go to us, too. You guys are yeah. choosing the power-ups. You want trivia questions? Choose the trivia <laughs> questions. It's not my problem. Team 4. Shall we look at the compass? Compass! Compass. Other team loses 25. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no. Look at what just happened to Team Three. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ah, no. Come on, Team Four. Or you can make four. Team One. You can tie with okay. them. I say <laughs> Team Three. I I would go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Team Three now. Team with Twenty-five three. points. Sorry, team guys. Three. Sorry. Let's go, Team One. All right. Uh, you guys like the penguin? Yeah. Penguin. Okay, penguin. Story Paul wants the penguin. What is the fastest flowing river in the world for 15 points? Oh. Fastest. Oh, okay, okay, guys. Oh, I, I know. Nile? No, no. If you get this correct, I give you 25 points. 25 points. So we get 25 points if we guess it, correct? 25. The Orinoco. It says 15. I'm giving you 25. All right. Why? Uh, mm. Do you want to go with Mississippi or Amazon? Mm. Or there could be the Yellow River in China. Right. It depends kind of like on the, the declination of the land a bit, right? That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my, Mississippi, I would, I would say Mississippi going north to yeah. south. Yeah. North to oh, south. Okay. Coming but, down, you know, there is some elevation there. All right. Let's, let's go with that. Okay. Mississippi. No this Mississippi, is it? Oh no! Oh no! Amazon. We were so close. We were so oh, close. No. Okay. Hey, we didn't. We didn't know. We didn't know. Let's go, Team Two. Okay, let's see. Um, why don't we go with the birthday gift? Because I think that's going to have something positive for us. Wait, birthday <laughs> cake or birthday gift? The birthday oh, the, gift. Oh, the gift. The gift. All right. Yeah. Yes. But excuse me, but how do we know, Daniel, that that's a birthday gift? Couldn't it be a gift for many different? celebrations you are correct it could be for any type of celebration <laughs> meanwhile what percentage of the river nile is located in egypt is it 22 percent 44 percent 66 percent or 88 percent mm. good question let's see samara Okba, any ideas what percentage of the I, river I guess, nile I guess, I guess is located in egypt Wow, I have no idea. Mm. Um, any ideas? Time's up, time's up, time's up. 66%. 88%? 66%, just guessing. Yeah, 88% should we guess? Okay. 88 Okay, 88%. No. You have another chance for 20 points. <laughs> uh, 66? No, you have another chance for 15. What the fuck? 44. 44. But in fact, most of the River Nile is in Sudan. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Zero. Let's oh, my it. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Team three, let's go. Well, that wasn't much of a gift in the end, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I, think, I think Team three, Madeline is not happy because she wants to answer a question you guys keep choosing power ups so we haven't had a single question yet i think there's a question behind the ghost the ghost <laughs> which country has the greatest number of islands here we go team three is it sweden i know Canada, it Australia, oh, I, knew or I knew it i know it i know it i know it only team three only team three only team three <laughs> 
Can we agree okay. it's Indonesia? <laughs> Indonesia. That's correct. Indonesia. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want Chris, Madeline, or Tim here. Come on. Yeah, I said Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. No. Oh, what? what? Okay. <clears throat> or maybe Sweden? Yeah. I don't know. Sweden. I yeah, I got to Sweden. Sweden. Correct. Yeah. Sweden. In oh. fact, the, in fact, the next countries are it. Norway, Finland. It's all those those countries have more islands than any other island. Let's go, Team oh. Four. Okay, you go. Let's go for the bone. Bone. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Could you say to the bone. with more sinister, like you know? Uh, I'll uh, take the bone. What is the world's largest continent? Oh, wait a second. Is this okay. a question? Honestly, in my Just, game. <laughs> <laughs> Way too easy. Too easy. Or maybe it's yeah. a trick question. Uh, yeah. I guess a Asia, right? It is Asia. It is not a trick question. Fifteen points. Wow, All Team right. Four, you needed that. Uh, you guys need it. It's a good thing, Gustavo. I thought it said consonant, and I was going to say Q. <laughs> All right, Nanny, choose, choose choose an icon. Choose a button. Uh, lemon? Nanny, what's right. a lemon? A lemon. Do the lemon. Yeah. 50, lucky lemon. Yeah, yeah Nanny. Yeah. That yeah. one was supposed to be for <laughs> us, too. Lucky Lemon. All right. Man, Daniel, see. man, enough with your game show karma. Like, what the, What do you mean it's supposed to be? <laughs> nothing, nothing, I mean, it came it. down the last time. It came down to the last one of switching points with a team. So I'll just wait for that to happen. I see. For the very okay. last question. At the end. At the end. Okay, team two, let's go. Oba, do you want to pick one? Oba, Oba, okay, Oba. Yeah. Lollipop. Lollipop. Yeah. Lollipop. What is the oldest active volcano on Earth? Uh, 25 points. Oh my gosh. Big oh. number. I think I know. <laughs> active? Oh, let's Indonesia. see here. I don't know. Maybe Mount Vesuvius? Is that the one in Italy? I don't know. Really have no idea. Time's up. Time's up. Oh. No idea. Oh, no one in the Argentina. Oh, no, it's Mount no, no, Etna. No, no, no. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now it's Catania. Let's go. Team three. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, let's go for the alien. Alien. <laughs> alien. Which country is the leading egg producer in the world? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no idea. Maybe. I don't know. China? I don't know. China. I'm, I'm thinking China. Fun is not a bad guy. <laughs> Is that your final answer, Team 3? Yeah, that sounds all right. China! Yeah! Team 4. Right. Team four. Right, makes sense. Okay. Should we go with a birthday cake? Sure. Birthday cake. Okay. Which lake is the largest in Africa for 25 yeah. points? Mm. Mm. Any no, idea? I have no. Why does everybody get the questions? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Why do you? You don't That's get that. Do you, do you have an idea, Rob? I know, but it's 25 yeah. points. It's. Anybody know? Victoria. Yeah, Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. Yeah. Uh, go, Ron, you want to pick one? Go. Uh, let, let's go for the trophy. <laughs> yeah. Trophy. Trophy right. time. Swap points, team one. I want all Ooh. of Team Two's points. It's oh, two points. that was supposed to be ours. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, wait, it's, it's oh, there win. will be payback. This I promise you. It's called karma. <laughs> it's <laughs> a bit <laughs> karma. Karma. Hey, don't <laughs> worry, don't worry. But oh, it's only, it's only. There's still plenty of game more. left. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to take Team Four. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's a ten point difference. I don't get. This is not a, a an exciting power up moment here. I mean, come on. Yeah, no, it's ten not. Ten points. It is oh, what it is. Okay. It is. What it, it is, is, is what it is. Ten points is take. ten points. I agree. Yeah. Team Two. Let's see. Should we go maybe for the bullseye with the dart? All right. Oh, Does that sound good? So we got, uh, just to review crazy. here, and for Samara and everybody else, we have tractor, corn on the cob, uh, what is this, sad, uh, sad sad frowny sad. face? Kiwi, which I believe is an international word, kiwi. We have mouse, octopus, camping, farmer, joystick, drum, 
tulip to be specific on the flower we have monkey. Yeah. even like I, I i hear no evil monkey we have a <laughs> dark board an island and a pill yeah, yeah. team two okay let's see um should we go for the dark board is that okay dark board yes. okay yes. dark board which is the world's longest country from north to south Ooh, I oh, think no. that might be Chile. You should what does not, everyone think? Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. You should not be able to answer this mm. question. Well, I'm on team two. It's just not fair. You live in... Oh, wow. Life isn't fair, is it? That's uh, I was going to say, he better get that one right. <laughs> if you believe in karma, I guess, Daniel, you just showed us how karma works. Uh, yes, exactly. exactly. Team three, let's go. How about the island? The yeah. island. <clears throat> what is the only major city located on two continents for 25 oh, points? Oh. Istanbul? Istanbul. I know this yeah, one. Istanbul. Yes. Correct. Whoa, oh, team yeah. three. Whoa. 80 points for team three. Well done. Wow. Two people on the oh, team some... instantly. Istanbul. Istanbul. Congratulations. Team four, you are oh, minus God, 10. Guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, is, Come on, is team that, four. You can do it. Is that pill cyanide? <laughs> 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 Let's Find go out. for the pill. The pill. <laughs> what is the capital city of Namibia? Is it Lusaka, Windhoek, Masuru, or Luanda? I would go yeah. with Luanda, but I have no idea, honestly. Windhoek. What's your final answer, Team Four? Pick your starter. <laughs> okay, no, I was going to say Luanda, but no, it's, it's rang a bell, but I'm not sure. Let's go. Okay. Who's sure? I think Windhoek. Okay, Windhoek? let's go with that one. Correct Windhoek. for 20 points. Yes, yes. Cool. 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 Hey, There you go, Team Four. Excellent. Luanda's the capital of Angola. <laughs> team One. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Nani, choose a choose an icon. Nani, 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 Indonesia, let's oh, go. My. Kiwi, Kiwi. Kiwi time. Kiwi. What is the Earth's approximate water to land coverage ratio? If you are close, I will give you the points. Wow. Uh, How many percent? 25 to 75. Water to land. Okay. 20, uh, close, 20 to 80, something okay, like yeah, that. Okay, yeah, 75 to 25. Yeah. 75 to 25. 75 to 25. How about this? Close enough, uh, close, close enough. Yeah, close enough. that was yeah. close. Yeah. Good yeah. Run. Team two. Nice. Okay, let's see. Opa Samara. Uh, let's see. We have an octopus, a mouse, um, a tent, far uh, farmer. What do you want, guys? Hmm. Let's go for uh, maybe monkey. Oba wants the monkey. All right. Two countries share mm. the longest border in the world. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, no. Would this be would this be something like Russia and a country along the border there, or could this be Chile with Argentina maybe? Uh, I was thinking about Russia, but <laughs> I don't know if it's correct. Or, or could it be the United States and Canada? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. What's your final answer? United States and Canada. Samara wants Canada. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Excellent. Boom, boom, Excellent. Team two is tied now for first place with team three. Team three, let's go. Uh, joystick. Wow, team three. Joystick. Everyone joystick. Joystick. Which is the tallest building in the world? In uh, Dubai. Is it the Burj Khalifa? Uh, Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Wait, but well, I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, hold on, time out. I hear people from different teams answering. I just need team okay, okay, three. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Nani's like, okay, okay. I know it's me. Nani, don't team. be giving them the answer. Yeah, Did, come on. Didn't team China team. build one though? Didn't China build one? I don't know, but team three, what's your? I only uh, want Burj Khalifa in, uh, Chris, in Dubai. Madeline and Tim. Final answer. Yeah, yes. first Khalifa. Correct, it's the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, 415, and now Team 3 is leading the game with 95 points, Team 4. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. 
<laughs> a team go. four, you need to find something like steal 50 points from a team. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it, that's, that's the power up you need right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, people, so, people, people underestimate the importance of like trying to feel yeah. the energy from the emojis. You have to try to. It's not just mm -hmm. geography, you know. It, it's, the the, it's the, the drums. The drums. It's the force. Drums. Some use the, the drums. Yeah. Drum. Yeah. Is it positive drum energy for Team Four? <laughs> it is going to first place. Team Four with one hundred. And we're out of time. Thank you for playing. There you go. That's what we're talking about with the power ups. That's the way it's supposed to go. Just a very, a very brief, a very brief coaching session about the emoji energy and see, see, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Nice work, brother. Oh, we're out of time. Isn't the game over? No, team one. Let's go. Okay. All right. You guys won. Camping, the camper, the tent. Camping. Yeah, the Camping tent. What is the capital city of Tajikistan? Is oh, it well, Tashkent, oh. Dushanbe, Bishkek, or Nur Sultan? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Nur Sultan. Nur Sultan. Team one, I need a final answer. Uh, yeah, Nur Sultan, yeah. Nur Sultan, yeah. Let's go with that. Nur Sultan. Go. 15 points. Dushanbe, uh, Dushanbe. No, no, Dushanbe. Dushanbe. All right. Correct for 15. All right. Wow, Nani, you're very quick on the Googling. That was really, that was good. Okay, <laughs> team two. Team two. Let's see. Well, I figure a person can never be corny enough. Should, so should we go for the corn on the cob? Corn on the cob. Okay. What, which city is known as the eternal city for 15 points? Oh, I think this is in Bolivia. Or no, Ecuador. Um Oh, oh what's, the, what's, the, what's the city in Ecuador that has Eternal Spring? Which city is known as the Eternal City? Team 2, time's up. Uh, I believe it's Quito. That's my best guess. Does anyone else have any ideas? Too late. No. 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 Oh. no. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, How do you just feel about the mouse? What do, what do <laughs> mouse. Be careful. Chris, <laughs> Madeline, Tim. That's a trap. <laughs> I keep hearing Nani. Nani, you're not team three. Team three, let's okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hello, team three, let's no, go. No, make a decision. Sorry, I'm muted. Octopus, octopus, octopus. Octopus. What is the capital city of Trinidad and Tobago? Is it St. George's, Port of Spain, Kingstown, Port of Spain. or San Jose? Yeah. Port of Spain. Port of Spain. Spain. Correct for 20 and team three. Wow. Oh. One to 15. Team four. Oh. Rob. Um, let's go with the tulip. tulip. Okay, let's let's which is the longest continental mountain range in the world. Ooh. I would say the Andes. Oh, because you're from South America? That's so sad. Well, it does have Appalachian. Uh, no, no, no. Like, uh, seriously, guys, time's up. Go uh, with Andes, then, if you want to. Okay. Andes is correct for 15 right. points. And Team 4, wow. suddenly, from We're behind, tight. timed the Cinderella story. Tie now for yeah. first place. This is your last chance.